Hi guys, welcome to chapter two, matter, section 2-1, atoms. Before we learn about atoms though, we need to ask a more basic question. What is matter? Quite simply, matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Matter can be a solid, it can be a liquid, a gas, or a plasma. When you think about it, Matter is pretty much all around us. I've listed some examples for you. For solids, you can think about gold, sugar, or rocks. Liquid examples of matter are mercury, water, or Pepsi. For gas, helium, carbon monoxide, or air. And plasma is pretty special. You've got the sun or lightning bolts. But for everything that matter is, there are two things that matter is not. Matter is not heat and it's not light because they have no mass and they take up no space. Now that we've learned about matter, it's time to talk about the po tiny particles that make up matter. And these are called atoms. Atoms are pretty special because how an atom is structured or how it's arranged and how it joins to other atoms creates the different properties of matter, like whether it's a solid, liquid, or gas. Atoms, however, aren't the smallest particles out there. Atoms, in fact, are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. These tiny particles within the atom contain charges, or in the case of neutrons, have no charge. Protons are positively charged, remember P for positive. Electrons are negatively charged, and neutrons have no charge, they're neutral. There have been a lot of theories about what an atom looks like. Right now, the general theory on what the current atomic model looks like is a little bit like this. You have a nucleus in the center with the neutrons and protons, and then electrons moving around in a cloud about the nucleus. Atoms are the building blocks of matter, but there's a unique form of matter that's called an element, which is composed of only one type of atom. I've actually already given you some examples of elements back when we talked about matter. Gold, for example, is a solid element. Mercury is a liquid element, and helium is a gas element. All these elements are organized using the periodic table, which you can find on page 830 or on your inside back cover. The periodic table has a wealth of information, but let's just look at one small part of it, the individual boxes, and let's look at one example, gold. At the top of this periodic table box, you'll see the element's name, gold. Usually found in the middle, you'll find the element's symbol, for our case, AU for gold. Usually near the top of a periodic table box, you'll find the atomic number. This is a whole number, and it's equal to the number of protons in a single gold atom. In our case, 79. At the bottom, you'll see the atomic mass number. This is the number of protons plus neutrons, and it's usually not a whole number. Finally, at the top, you'll see a small symbol that will indicate the most common state of matter for a, this particular element. In our case, we'll see a block indicating a solid for gold. Now that we know all this information, how can we find the number of electrons and neutrons from a periodic table box? Let's continue to stick with our example gold. If an atom is neutral, in other words no charge, then the atomic number equals the number of protons and the number of electrons. So for gold, its atomic number is 79. That means it has 79 protons and 79 electrons. But what about the number of neutrons? For that, we'll use the atomic mass number, in Gold's case, 196.97. Remember that the atomic mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So after a little bit of math, we get that the number of neutrons in Gold is 118, approximately. Last but not least, you need to know that most atoms have isotopes where an atom of the same element, like carbon, has different numbers of neutrons. Isotopes have the same number of protons and electrons. They won't change the atomic number, 
but they have different atomic mass numbers. A perfect example of this are carbon-12 and carbon-14. Carbon-12 has six neutrons, but carbon-14 has eight neutrons.